today guys and welcome back to another video. Now in this video today guys we're going to be talking about the SS20 off-white taped arrow t-shirts. I've got it in white and I've got it in black. I'm going to be giving my thoughts and opinions on the price, the product and my overall review on the t-shirts. So let's just jump straight into the video. So I was out one day shopping and I was in the off-white section just up at uh, Selfridges I think I was at and uh, this t-shirt just caught my eye. I just loved how it looks like here on the badge, on the logo. It looks like duct tape across it and then when obviously you turn around and you see the back of it, you see obviously the um, taped arrows. Again, looks like it's made out of duct tape. I just thought it was really different, really unique. Really, really, really like that sort of um, style. Um, but I know off-white can be like quite baggy, as you can see on the t-shirt in front of me here. It looks quite baggy. It is, this is a size small, believe it or not, and it's very like loose fitted. I know a lot of their stuff is oversized. This t-shirt wasn't described as oversized, but it is definitely oversized, especially on me. I'm a small, I fit in small on everything, Stone Island, Montclair, everything else. This is a small and it's oversized. So design-wise on the t-shirt, um, it is a simple tee as you can see from the front, it's just got the off-white logo on the front there with the duct tape going across it. Really simple but really unique. Now the whole thing that makes this top is the um, back of the top with the taped arrows going across it, the whole off-white logo going across the back. Looks like it's done in duct tape. Um, the actual material is actually printed on, it's a, it's a printed on all across the back. Um, and it's really bold, it's a massive statement piece. Um, if someone's walking behind you or even just walking in front of you, you can tell it's off-white. It's big, it's loud, um, and it definitely is an eye-catching t-shirt. Now, as soon as I saw this t-shirt, I wanted it, uh, I knew I had to have it, and the design and the quality of it is really, really up there with some of the other brands like Stone Island, Montclair, as I say, I don't know too much about Off-White. This is the first ever purchase I had from the black t-shirt and the white t-shirt. Now let's talk about price. Now Off-White, in my opinion, is absolutely ridiculous. The pricing for some of their stuff is, is crazy expensive. Um, more expensive than Stone Island, CP Company. A lot of the top end brands, designer brands out there, they're, they're way out there with their pricing. Now this t-shirt, comes in at 220 I believe 220 now 220 pounds is a lot of money for just one t-shirt I don't know why I paid it to be honest with you I just really really like this t-shirt really like the design really something different wanted to have it so I paid 220 for it would I pay 220 for it again absolutely no way um, I probably won't be buying anything from off-white myself just because the pricing is just too ridiculous is it worth the money guys is it worth the money? Now the quality and the material on it is definitely worth the money. It's made out of a nice, you know this print here, some materials on some of the print, you know, can sort of fade over time. I can definitely tell this isn't going to fade over time and you wouldn't want it to fade. For £220, you want something to last. If you're spending that much money on a t-shirt, you want it to last. You want to make sure, quality wise, talking from experience and having the top, it's definitely got the quality there. Um, but would I pay it again? No way. No way would I pay it again. So guys, my overall opinion on the t-shirts are that they are really good quality, up there with the quality. The price point lets it down a lot, but obviously you're playing for a designer brand, so they are going to be expensive. But even for a designer brand, I still think this t-shirt is way too much money for what you're getting. Would I buy it again? No. Am I glad that I've got both colours? Absolutely. It is a very, very luxurious brand, but as I say, the quality on it is gonna last you a long, long time. So if anyone out there is considering buying a off-white t-shirt or anything off-white, the quality is gonna be up there. It's not gonna let you down. Now, the only down point with it is, is like I've said before in the video, or earlier on in the video, should I say. So guys, this is gonna be my thoughts and opinions on both of the t-shirts. Now, it is a quality brand, so if you're going to be investing £220 into the t-shirts or into anything off-white, I would recommend it. It is top quality. It's uh, made out of really good material. The material isn't going to fade over time. 
Um, so it is going to be with you a product or a brand with you for life and you would expect that for paying £222. Um, they are quite baggy so if anyone is looking at to buy anything off white I would go a size down so if you're medium I get small, if you're small get extra small because or you may like the bag of your fit, it depends. If you like um, loosely fit clothing, get your normal size. If you like it a bit more fitted to you, like I don't like my stuff fitted, um, then get size down in off-white. Um, overall, the t-shirts are top quality. I really, really like the design on them. This is what made me buy the t-shirts in the first place, was the design of the t-shirts. They're absolutely crazy, standout piece catches your eye no matter if you know about the brand or not it's definitely going to catch your eye and people are going to be looking at you which I absolutely love about this, uh, these t-shirts now the price point in my opinion lets it down but like I've said again you're paying for quality you are paying into that luxury market um, of the really high end designer brands um, and also the labelling on this lets it down a lot. Now the labelling is sewn into the, the back of the t-shirt as you saw. It just, for me, it just lets it down. It just like sort of makes the t-shirt look bigger. The labelling's quite heavy. It weighs down the t-shirts, pulling on the on the actual fabric. And I know it's off-white style out there, different labelling and all that, but I really don't feel it's necessary for them to sew it into the actual t-shirt. And afterwards, once you break the seal on the tag, you're left with the long string that just is drooping down the the T. The it comes out the bottom of the of the shirt. Unless you cut it out, which I don't really think a lot of people will be doing because it's part of the T-shirt. They've made it a part of the product. I'm reluctant to cut it out, but it's just so annoying. It just hangs around. It will come down the shirt. It will hang out the back of the T-shirt. It's just really, really annoying. That's the only two down parts, the price and the labelling on it. Everything else you're paying for quality, the design is out there, and it's a really standout piece. So guys, that was just a quick little review of the new SS20 taped arrow off-white t-shirt. Let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments down below. It really gives me a sort of guideline on what you guys are liking, what you're not liking, helping me to improve. Leave a like, subscribe guys, and I thank you all for watching this video. See you later.